Hi everyone, I thought that I would um, do a um, quick video to just kind of tell all of you what's going on. So I come up here to my studio um, pretty much every day and I find myself drawn to painting. And um, someone in the uh, Ask Me Anything group um, yesterday in our Zoom said, oh, I hope you'll show us what you're working on. And I said, well, truthfully, it's mostly painting. Are you, would you, are you guys, are any of you interested in that? And they said, yes. And so I thought, okay, you know, because here's what's happening. This is really unexpected. Um, I thought that when my very generous and lovely neighbor said that I could use her studio, um, I thought that I was going to work on the big fiber piece and that I just really needed a wall large enough to sort of navigate and, and work on it. And so I brought, you know, thread and I brought stuff up to, to do that. But the first thing that I brought up was my paints because I thought, you know, I have all this paint and I never paint, but here's sort of this perfect opportunity to paint. And the first thing I unpacked was my paint. And then the first thing I did was get out some paint brushes and start painting. Um, and then I started thinking, you know, I've got to finish this. And so I brought, I brought up some of the threads and stuff that I need, but I felt very sort of, um, conflicted. Um, so I did finish all that I'm going to do. I really decided I wasn't going to do a lot of stitching on this piece and actually much less than I had thought I was going to do when I started it. I thought I was going to cover this with stitches and now I sort of feel like, no, I'm not. The other thing is that, um, you know, so many of you started to follow me when I was doing how to do a certain stitch, especially left-handed. And for me, I'm really not an embroiderer. I mean, that's, that's not, um, that's not what I do. And it's not what I'm interested in. It's not where my, my passions are. And for a while I was toying with writing a book about for left-handed stitching and, and I just kept hitting a block with it. Like I just, my heart wasn't in it. I wrote a couple of chapters. I filmed a bunch of stuff. I took photos. I even did it, you know, and then I just kept, you know, other stuff would always intervene. You know, there was other stuff. And I thought, well, I'm just being, you know, I'm just being lazy or I'm just not being disciplined enough. And I, but the truth was, was that I just really disliked doing it. And for me, this, the various stitches are really an, an ends to a mean. So I like knowing how to do these stitches, but I really, there's probably, I don't know, a dozen that are kind of go-to stitches that, and I really don't use the others. I mean, when I was designing um, and I did making waves, the drawstring bag. One of my challenges for myself for that design, and it was kind of fun, was to use every single stitch I knew and to put it in there. And I did. Um, but I don't feel drawn to that anymore. I really am feeling more and more drawn toward collage and painting, collage layering. You know, you can certainly do that with fabric but also incorporating fabric into the work. So I'm gonna take this off the tripod and I'm gonna show you some of what I'm talking about. 
And remember, I'm just beginning with the painting. I really have no idea. I have not found my voice with the painting the way I feel I found it with the improvisational stitching and this kind of style of work with the linen. But I also feel very confident that I will find it incorporating the painting. I just don't know what it's gonna look like yet. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this stuff. It's all very sort of, um, none of this, none of these pieces are things that I would necessarily say are finished or they're really marking my process and my um, exploration of this new medium and how, you know, so there's a lot of me saying to myself, well, what if I do this? Well, what if I try this? Well, what if I um, try to apply this fabric or, you know, it's, it's a lot of that kind of questioning, which is what I do with this too. You know, what if I do this? What if I try this with this stitch? What if I use this kind of thread? What if I use this kind of material? What if I stuff this shape, you know, what, and, and, and so that's the a similar process with the painting. The difference is, is that with the painting, I'm very, very new and I really don't know, um, I, don't, I really am not familiar with these materials at all. So I'm just learning. I'm learning, you know, how to use charcoal and how to keep it from smudging all over the place and how to, you know, layer with collage and just paint and how can I add fabric and what else can I do and all of those things, you know, I'm really just sort of striking out. So, um, so I'll turn you around and, and you can you can take a look. Okay, so these are a series of um, collages that I did using a very limited uh, color palette and just kind of seeing what I could do with lines and adding um, uh, things like newsprint and um, different kinds of paper that I painted and graphite and uh, you know, whatever. I mean, just sort of going with it. This one's much more collage heavy. There's a lot of rice paper here that I've painted and done stuff with, ink blotches that wasn't so successful. There's some newsprint in here. And the same with this one. Um, similar, you know, I worked on this one and this one at the same at the same time. And I worked on these two at the same time. And then I went over and I started to really try to incorporate fabric. So this is a big piece of muslin that I kind of, um, I got a little impatient and I ended up gluing some of it on, but I think I could have gotten away with just using um, matte medium with it and it probably would have stuck. But there's also newsprint in here, although I don't know that you can actually see it. There's some rice paper. There's other materials, a lot of collage, a lot of paint, um, charcoal, some uh, oil pastels. Uh, yeah, so this piece um, was kind of just an experiment in this big bit of muslin to just see if I could, what I could do and could I scrunch it up and and all of that. And then, then from there, I went to this piece, which, um, again, I tried to add strips of muslin here and just adhered it in places so that it's actually kind of coming off the, the, the paper in places. And, um, and I wanted that. I wanted to see what I could do with this material and how would it look. So, you know, it's not, again, these, um, I'm, I'm just experimenting. I'm just seeing what I can do. Where can I go? What can I try? Um, what if I do this? How will it, and with this, I didn't use glue. I just used matte medium and paint, uh, to adhere it. Um, 
I haven't gone over this again. I'm just kind of going to leave it, I think. It's really, this is really more about process than it is about, oh, let me have this finished fabulous piece. You know, I'm, I'm really not thinking about finished fabulous pieces right now. I'm really concentrating on how can I do this? Um, I'm currently working on, this is my, this is my little, um, my little sketchbook where I try different things, you know, so I started working on collage here. Um, this was working on black. Um, this was the one that I did where I took a photograph and then I tried to paint it. And then I painted it on a larger elongated piece of actual mixed media paper. That's, you know, not just this. And it kind of skewed the, 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 the image. It, elongated it and I didn't like it as much. I actually like this better. Um, yeah. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just playing, uh, in my sketchbook, trying out different things. This is a piece that I'm working on. I'm just working on layers. Um, so I've got, you know, some sheet music. I've got, um, newspaper. I've got old journals that I, when I was a kid that I, have put in here. This was my first diary. I think it was, I was 12 years old. Um, some of this you can't even see it's covered. I'm going to try to sand some of it to uncover some of the layers. I've got some steel wool that I'm sort of scrubbing some of this off. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to, um, do some more layers. Um, I'm not adding color yet. I haven't gotten there. I just am really playing to see what can I do? What, what if I did this? What if I did that? Um, and we'll see where this goes. So that's, that's really what I've been, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing. I mean, that's, that's really what, what I'm playing around with, with this big piece. And then here are all the other bits that I've, you know, I'm going to, rip those up and use them for collage papers and stuff. Um, with this, uh, I'm just letting it sit for a while. I've, um, uh, I have some ideas of how I might, uh, people were saying curtain, uh, weights, and I have some thoughts about what I might do at the bottom to kind of weight it a little bit but I want this to flow and I need to put a back to it. Uh, so I'm, I'm just sort of leaving it there until I have a better idea. So that's it. That's what I'm up to. And, um, now I hope this was kind of interesting to all of you. It's, this is the process and this is where I'm headed. This is where I'm headed. So, I was thinking um, before I did this video that I felt a little, um, I guess a little trepidation about coming up here and just showing all of this because I felt like, well, no one's going to be interested in this, but, and maybe you aren't and that's fine, you know, um, but this this is where I'm headed and this is what I'm doing and this is what's interesting to me. And, um, and now, you know, embracing my, the artist, me, my artist, um, and really owning that is part of this process. And I feel like it's, it's not truthful if I don't talk about that you know, because, um, I know so many people who follow me are really, um, interested. Well, I don't know, but I think, I, I guess what I tell myself is they're really only interested in the stitching. They're not interested in your, in your artistic process and necessarily. And that's, and that's totally fine. You know, I mean, that's what the unsubscribe button's for, right? You don't have to, you don't have to watch it. Um, but, but I, I was also putting a little pressure on myself that, oh, I, I should be doing this other thing. That more and more I felt I don't, I, this isn't, 
the direction I want to be going in. So, um, you know, so much so that even in my, my Facebook group, um, Ariane Zercher Stitching Circle, which has the word stitching in it, you know, um, I was doing a, a Wednesday weekly prompt and not so many people were actually engaging in it. And I thought, well, why am I, why am I doing this? You know, I mean, this isn't the direction I want to be going in anyway. And not that many people are engaging in it. So some people seem sort of interested, but how I'm not that interested, you know, that's, that's just sort of the truth. And um, I think as an artist, if I look back on my on my the trajectory of my um, of my life, I very much wanted to be a fine artist as a child, and felt that artists were sort of up here, you know, they 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 maintain this very high kind of um, hierarchy, and a designer was sort of you know lowly down here and then you know crafts and and that sort of thing were way way down here and I kept trying to sort of boost my my love of craft and my love of design but always felt that they were sort of the lowly sisters to artists and um you know, that was my own distorted thinking. Um, but it was also the thing that was keeping me from shooting for the things that I really loved, which when I was young was to paint. So I, I'm in a place where I don't, I'm sort of in that in-between place. I'm not sure where I'm headed and that's okay. I'm not sure how much, um, I don't know where any of this is gonna lead. And that's okay. It's okay, it's fine. But, and I'm just trying to relax into it. There are definitely moments where I feel anxiety and I feel like I should be doing X, Y, and Z. And it's whenever I say should, that's a word that really I it really needs to be just banished because should is a self-imposed idea that has nothing to do necessarily with reality. And the reality is, is that I've got this studio for a few months and I'm making use of it by painting in it. And that's all I need to know. And whatever else happens, great. And what doesn't, it's okay. So wherever you are in your place in all of this, um, maybe join me in being okay with it, whatever it is, because I think that's part of the process. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, let's just keep creating together.